Tonight. Is everybody feeling really mellow? All right. All right. Treat is tomorrow for those of you who are going. Um, there are cars leaving at 4, 5.30, and 7.30, so there's no excuse for you not to go if, if you want to go. Um, there's a Capture the Cure sign up. Candace is going to pass that around. Capture the Cure is for um, if you want to have a team to play Capture the Flag as part of the fundraiser for no more, Imagine No Malaria. And, or if you want to just um, come and help with it, you can sign up to come and help with that as well. So there's the sign-up sheet is for both. And then on um, October 31st, which is Halloween, there is a Hellfest here at Wesley from 3 to 5, apple cider and donuts and whatnot, and then um, Trunk or Treat at Westwood United Methodist Church after go help out. Yeah. Um, if people want to come to worship on Halloween or um, on the 30th, and that's fine, totally fine. Like if people want to come to worship dressed up, that's totally fine. I love how we say the normal thing because we did it last year. <laughs> yes. All right. So gathering activity tonight. I am. If you have a phone that has a camera on it, please take it out. All right. Com uh, finish the sentence. sentence. Just holler it out I tonight. I, I am blessed. blessed. Tired. 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 I heard lots of tired. Full. Full? Late for service. Excited. Excited. Loved. Loved. I am grouped. I am grouped. All right. So who who do selfie? Right. Take a selfie, right? I didn't like the worst selfies. <laughs> All, right. If you can, All right, if you can, if you can do this, post it on your Facebook. On your Facebook. <laughs> oh, Jeremy and Emily are doing it together. Yay. So sweet. It is like they're married. So, I invite you to post your selfie as your Facebook status, and um, I am at Wesley. I am feeling great at Wesley. I am feeling blessed at Wesley. I'm feeling tired at Wesley. Right? I invite you to do that. And see how people respond to you. I'm feeling mellow at Wesley. Everybody's concentrating. Everybody's working hard on it. I can tell. 
Jeff's concentrating. <laughs> it is hard. Do you want to use my phone, Nola, to do yours? Oh! Oh! Look at that! All right. When you're ready, then, I invite you to stand. Um, sing and pray and sing a little bit more. Um, and just have some time for worship. So. You're ready, stand. It's crowded in the worship today. She slips in, trying to fade into the faces. The girls teasing, the laughter is carrying farther than they know, farther than they know. But if we are the body, why aren't his arms reaching? Why aren't his hands healing? Why aren't his words teaching? And if we are the body, why aren't his feet going? Why is his love not showing? Then there is a way. There is a way. A traveler is far away from home. He sheds his coat and quietly sinks into the back row. Made of their judgmental glances, tells him that his chances are better off on the road. But if we are the body, why aren't his arms reaching? Why aren't his hands healing? Why aren't his words teaching? And if we are the body, why aren't his feet going? Why is his love not showing that there is a way? Jesus paid much too high a price for us to pick and choose who should come. We are the body of Christ. If we are the body, why aren't his arms reaching? Why aren't his hands healing? Why aren't his words teaching? And if we are the body, why aren't his feet going? Why is his love not showing that there is a way? Jesus is the way. Father God, we ask you to come into this place tonight. We ask you to fill us with your Holy Spirit. We ask you to um, unite us together in the body of Christ, to equip us to be the special hands and feet and the arms and the ears and the eyes that you need to do your work. Um, we pray this in your heavenly name as we join in singing, I am. There's no space. There's no space that his love can reach. There's no place that we can't find peace. There's no end to amazing grace. Take me in with your arms spread wide. Take me in like an orphan child. Never let go, never leave my side. Holding on to you, I am holding on to you in the middle of the 
storm, I'm holding on. I am. Love like this, so oh my God, to find. I am overwhelmed. What a joy to Love like this sets our hearts on fire. I am holding on to you. my resurrection song this is my hallelujah come this is why to you i run sing with me again come on this is my resurrection song this is my hallelujah come this is why to you i run there's no space there's no space that his love can reach. There's no place that we can't find peace. There's no end to amazing grace. I am holding on to you. I am holding on to you. In the middle of the storm, I'm holding on. I am holding on to you. I am holding on to you in the middle of the storm. I'm holding on. I am holding on to you. I am holding on to you in the middle of the storm. I'm holding on. I am. I am. Oh, yeah. In the middle of the storm. The next day, the crowd that was left behind realized that there had been only one boat and that Jesus had not gotten into it with his disciples. They had seen them go off without him. By now, boats from Tiberias had pulled up near where they had eaten the bread blessed by the master. So when the crowd realized that he was gone and wasn't coming back, they piled into the Tiberias boats and headed for Cap uh, Capernaum looking for Jesus. When they had found him back across the sea, they said, Rabbi, when did you get here? Jesus answered, You've come looking for me not because you saw God in my actions, but because I fed you, filled your stomachs, and for free. Don't waste your energy striving for perishable food like that. Work for the food that sticks with you, food that nourishes your lasting life, food the Son of Man provides, and he and what he does are guaranteed by God the Father to last. To that they said, well, what do we have to do then to get in, um, in on God's works? Jesus said, throw your lot in with the one that God has sent. That kind of commitment gets you in on God's works. They waffled. Why don't you give us a clue about who you are? Just a hint of what's going on. When we see what's up, we'll commit ourselves. Show us what you can do. Moses fed our ancestors with bread in the desert. It says so in the scriptures. He gave them bread from heaven to eat. Jesus responded, The real significance of that scripture is not that, is not that Moses gave you bread from heaven, but that my Father is right now offering you bread from heaven, the real bread. The bread of God came down out of heaven and is giving life to the world. They jumped at that and said, Master, give us this bread, now and forever. Jesus said, I am the bread of life. The person who lines, me with, lines with me hungers no more and thirsts no more ever. I have told you this explicitly because even though you have seen me in action, you don't really believe me. 
Every person the Father gives me eventually comes running to me. And once that person is with me, I hold on and don't let go. I came down from heaven not to follow my own whim, but to accomplish the will of the one who sent me. So uh, the phrase, I am the bread of life in Swahili. Mimi ni mkate wa uzima. And that al hops would be how you say I am the bread in Arabic. Soy el pan de la vida. I am the bread in Spanish. So Michael, uh, sorry, Magic Michael Johnson. Uh, sorry, Magic Johnson. Anybody remember Magic Johnson? Husband's all-time favorite basketball player. He played for Michigan State University back in the late 70s. He was, and my husband's a big MSU fan. And Michigan State was in the uh, playoffs for the national championship. Was actually in the national championship. Magic Johnson uh, played for them, and they won the and national championship. After year, and after his sophomore year, he was drafted. Lakers, which is a fantastic basketball and team. And at the ripe old age of 21, Magic Johnson was asked to probably one of the all-time all centers. Anybody remember who it is? Jabbar. Right. So. Right. So. He's 21, Kareem is injured, and he's asked to step in from his guard to center. And Kareem Abdul-Jabbar is over seven foot tall, and he has this massive arm span, and he was known for this famous shot. Does anybody know what the famous shot was? The sky hook, right? Over seven foot tall with this massive arm span, he was unstoppable with the sky hook. And he's... And in the final, in the final uh, games, uh, games Magic, Johnson, Magic Johnson, for the winning shot, the last shot, shot, the last shot to win, hook, does a sky hook, his imitating his and mentor. After game, and after the game, the reporter is talking to this 20 Johnson and says, we can't who did this shot, right? This is Kareem's signature shot, the sky hook. Yes. 
was radically inclusionary. He was radically inclusionary. Yeah. He ate with everybody. The most famous people, the most religious people, and people that were unclean. Yeah. In spite like, of uh, in spite of people. In spite of people. Like those Jesus had fed, and we're now actively seeking him out, something is also required of us. We are what we eat. We can figuratively be satisfied for today, or tomorrow, or eternally. And here's the clincher. What we do matters. What we do affects us, others and the world around us. I'm not telling you anything that you don't already know. But it's easy to forget in our little bubble of our lives. But every day we have the capacity to choose between life in relationship with God and others and the world around us. One choice. Or life in alienation from God and Disconnected from God's relationship vision for all of creation, we literally and figuratively destroy our companions. We seek what will satisfy us for the day in our own instant gratification wins out at the expense of eternal transformation. If you know anything about Magic Johnson, you know that he was one of the first famous people that came out as being HIV positive. And he had to retire early, much earlier from the NBA than he would have ever had to possibly do it. His career was cut drastically short. He was shunned by many people who he thought were his friends. Even after he was feeling better and tried to come back, other teams didn't want to play against his team. Several years later, when he started to become a spokesperson for HIV and AIDS, he was giving an interview, and he said, I lusted after the things in life that weren't good for me, and I was unfaithful to my wife, and I didn't respect my child, and thank goodness that they both have forgiven me. We all make Discipleship is following the way of Jesus. And it may mean dying over and over again to our own selfish desires and wants. Being a student, a disciple of Jesus, requires something of us. This is terrifying, right? To do God's works in the world, to make decisions that will have eternal effect. need to do everything that Jesus did. We don't need to do the original sky hook. We only need to be willing to do the baby sky hook. We are not Jesus. We are never going to be Jesus. But we can live our lives as disciples, as followers of Jesus, in a way that has eternal effect on us and others and the world around us. We can choose to be in relationship with God and be in God's vision of that relationship with all of creation, or we can choose alienation. What do we say? We are what we eat. So tonight we're going to celebrate the sacrament of Holy Communion. This is the place in which we can know God bread and take the cup because Jesus did the same thing. And we come to this table because Jesus asked us to come together in his name and remember the way that he lived. We come to this table so we can remember, remind ourselves what is required of us as disciples. In preparation for communion, we're invited to consider what it is we are seeking. What is it that you hunger for? 
have divine grace, there is no need to hoard our food. There is no need to seek injustice. There is no need to marginalize others. We experience peace that comes from connecting our well-being with the well-being of others. Nourished by this divine bread, we become large You are so good to me You heal my broken heart You are my Father in heaven You are so good to me You heal my broken heart You are my Father in heaven You are beautiful, my sweet, sweet song Yes. 
to shelter to weather the storm and I'll be my brother's keeper so the whole world will know that we're not alone. Resurrected. Amen.